All right, 948. Are you looking to get away this summer? Travel specialist Tanya Swasbrook is here with three options for some awesome trips, whether you want to do something with the family, you want to do something here, you want to go away. I love this. Every time you come on, I end up going on a trip yeah. somewhere. <laughs> We're already in April. Yes. Is it too late to book for your summer travels? Honestly, what what um, what I say is, look, if you're going to do it online, mm -hmm. you may encounter issues. But if you go through a travel advisor, for example, that's their job. Their job right. is to be in the know about where to go. So if you can, work with a travel specialist okay. in order for them to get you the best uh, value for your trips and make it happen. Okay, speaking of making it happen, if you don't want to leave San Diego, yes. there is a trip you can do right yes. here. Yes. What is it? So there's this place called Rancho La Valencia, which is in Rancho Santa Fe, and it's a beautiful spot on earth, but not only because of the fact that it's in San Diego, let's mm -hmm. be honest, okay. but it, the way that it's laid out, it has um, casitas. So. You, you can see with the video that mm. you can, you're literally like in little homes around um, Rancho, Rancho, uh, the, the hotel, obviously. Right, right, right. But what is also really important is that it's a Relais Chateau, which just simply means it has the best food and wine oh. out there. And it's the only one in Southern California. And really? it just, the spa actually just got voted a five, uh, five star ranking this year oh, by Forbes. Oh, check me in, yes. check me in. Yeah. Okay, uh, and the summer you say is a good time to go there? It is, because it has, a, they, they really focus on making things um, around things like Father's Day, 4th of July, t National Tequila Day, opening day at the races, but also they make a, a point to be uh, in the know with the wellness. So they have classes, TRXs, and spinning, and, and obviously golfing. They're right next to the door to the farms and okay. all that sort of stuff. So everything that you want within San Diego, hiking, whatnot, it's there. Okay, luxury. if you want to do a little biking and maybe go to one of my favorite places on this planet, to Sonoma Valley, Yes. what is this deal? Well, you know what happens is sometimes you go on vacation and you, you get schlepped one place to another, but when you're in nature and along the Pacific coast, by in the rugged, um, the rugged nature. Mm -hmm. You really want to explore it, but the entire day. So you can bike very rigorously, or you can actually just do a little bit of biking, a little bit of wine tasting, a little bit of relaxing. And there's this company called Divine Cycling Co. that they specialize in that sort of stuff. So they guide you, and you can go as fast, as slow, with as many people privately as you want. And you get to see everything, but also be sure that you're in what is the local knowledge as well. So mm -hmm. you stay at the little bed and breakfast, have picnics amongst oh. the trees and do all that sort of stuff. That's amazing. Has, has this area recovered since the fires? They have. Okay. They really, really and have, they're thankfully. asking, they're, they're saying, please, please come, come back. back. Yes, we're okay. There's, you know, all those rumors and whatnot about the, the vineyards. No, it, okay. it's, it's amazing. So, so far I'm going on two trips. Let's go <laughs> to the last trip. If you have like a bucket list, a splurge, uh, the royal wedding, you suggest London and Paris. Oh, yes, there's nonstop flights to London every day from San Diego. And right now, obviously, with the royal wedding coming in May, mm -hmm. as we've heard it all morning, mm -hmm. um, there's this company called Authentic Vacations, which they've put together something very special. It's a four-day itinerary to follow the footsteps of the newlyweds. So you get to go to Kensington Palace, is where the newlyweds will live. St. Uh, Paul's Cathedral, where Prince Char Charles and Princess Diana were married. Tower oh. of London, to see the crown jewels. Oh. Lots of shopping, do all that sort of stuff. And then um, you can whip over on the Eurostar to Paris. And obviously, as we all know, the last place that Princess Diana was seen was yeah, at the Ritz it? in Paris. Yes. It went, a, went under a renovation for four years, one of the biggest renovations in all of wow. history. Okay. But what happened is that they kept the historical value of the property. So it is pretty much the same, but just absolutely stunning. Ugh. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But the historical value is still there. Um, and obviously, it's a privately owned hotel. Mm -hmm. So the, they, they did not spare an expense to make it stunning. Okay, I think I'm going on three trips now. <laughs> what about you? If you want to reach Tanya, uh, we have all of our contact and information on our website. Just go to fox5sandiego.com. You click the little seat on tab. We'll get you hooked up and off you go on a magical trip. Yes. Tanya, good to see you. Nice to see you too. Okay, coming up on Fox 5, why Apple is offering red iPhones starting today.